Hi everyone, Sheila here with my weekly update. It'll be a very short one this week because I've not really been doing very much. Um, I've been doing some sort of uh, domestic things and I've been away for a few days, um, so not really doing a huge amount of art, but I have been uh, thinking about submitting to a few open calls, so that's what I'm looking at over the next couple of days, but I just wanted to check in and say hello. But one thing I did do this week, and um, I watched, and you might have seen it, is Mary Beard's The um, Fantastic Story has got a new series on uh, the BBC called Forbidden Art. And I watched the first episode last night, and it's, it's really quite fascinating, I suppose, about our biases, our prejudices, and how our cultures have changed over time in terms of what we find acceptable as art to view, to put on public show, to have in our own homes. And obviously there's a lot about sex, about violence, and I suppose wider body images and um, how our society reflects itself. And really interesting to look at some of the changes over time. So for, for instance, some images that were perhaps acceptable in um, you know, more ancient times, in Roman times, but, you know, certainly in Victorian times and even in our own times today are, are not acceptable. But also talking to more contemporary artists and quite an interesting discussion with Tracy Emin about some of her work, which I know a lot of people do find quite shocking. Um, I've always been a huge admirer of Tracy Emin. I think she's um, pushed boundaries um, in really positive ways. And I also just think she's an amazing artist and people do tend to, I think, um, sometimes underestimate her. Um, but it's really worth checking out, so I'm looking forward to the rest of the series. So if you haven't watched that, um, have a look at Forbidden Art and maybe think about, um, certainly making me think about my choices, because I suppose what I do is not particularly um, threatening. I don't really go into taboo areas, but maybe I should. Maybe I should do that a bit more. Anyway, I hope you've had a good week and I look forward to giving you probably a bit more of an update on some things I've actually been doing next week.